Hey guys, this is Lauren. So today I have a book haul and unboxing and there are 15 books I think in this book haul and I know I said I wouldn't be buying any more books anytime soon but I got this advertisement in the mail from my credit card some company saying that if I use my credit card 15 times they would give me airline tickets. So my mom was like, Lauren use your credit card 15 times so we can get those airline tickets. And so I bought books because that's naturally what you do when your mom tells you to spend money but doesn't specify on what. So these first two books I bought for school and they're from Barnes and Noble and the first one is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and I've already read this book. I absolutely love the way he writes and it was a really good book. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads. The next book I got was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury and this is a book about a guy named Guy who is a firefighter and his job is to burn books. So it sounds like a really sad book, really kind of like sobering book to look into the future and say, hey, if we're not careful, this is what could happen and these are the consequences. The next three books are part of a series and um, the second one is in my book unboxing thing. Um, I've actually already read the series on my Nook, but I wanted hard copies because I loved them so much because they're so good. And they're um, the Books of Pelennor series by Alison Croggan. The first one is The Naming. The second one is The Crow. fourth one is The Singing. I really love those books and I got those three from Amazon because I saw the second one on Book Outlet. So um, before I show you these, I wanted to show you these name plates and these are from one of my best friends, Hannah, and she got me these for Christmas. And yes, I realize that it is March. And yes, I realize that Christmas was in December. But we have this really bad habit of giving each other Christmas presents way after Christmas. We buy them around Christmas, but we just forget to give them to each other. So it opens up and it has like all these really pretty nameplates. And this quote is from Virginia Woolf and it says, Books are the mirrors to the soul. And there's more there. Now let's get on to the unboxing. So here's the box. And if you remember last time, I failed with scissors, so I have my dad's pocket knife. <laughs> One of my dad's pocket knives. Okay. Oh. Um. Yes. Ah. So there's about ten books in here. Um. Okay. Whew. Got it. Coupon. Receipt, paper, there's only like a little bit of paper which is kind of weird. Okay, so yay, there's 10 books in here that I'm super excited about. Now my Barnes and Noble is doing something really stupid and only stocking dystopians and sci-fi. Not that I don't love me, good dystopian, but I'm a fantasy girl and so I miss my fantasy. So this box is going to be a majority fantasy because I miss it in my bookstore and I'm kind of upset with Barnes & Noble. So the first book is um, Wild Magic, the first book in the Immortal series by Tamora Pierce. Now I started reading Tamora Pierce a couple years ago and I have the um, the series with the dog titles, what is that, oh the Becca Cooper series and I just really loved it and so I wanted to read more of her but again my Barnes & Noble doesn't sell Tamora Pierce anymore. So this is the first book and I'm super excited for it, yay! It's kind of smaller than I thought it would be. It's like 400 pages, but it's like shorter. This next one is The Hawk's Maid by Catherine Langsky, and this is the untold story of Robin Hood and Maiden Marian. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm obsessed with anything Robin Hood. I love Robin Hood. My favorite Robin Hood is the BBC Robin Hood. It just sounds really intriguing, really interesting, so. And if you guys want me to do any reviews on any of these books, just let me know. Okay, the next one I got was Nobody's Prize by Esther Friner. I read Nobody's Princess, and this is about Helena of Troy. And this is the second book. Um, let's see if I can find There it is. The first book is Nobody's Princess, and then Nobody's Prize. So I'm super excited that I loved this book. It's like Greek mythology and it's really fun and seafaring and anyway, it's really good. The next one is by the same author but it's a different series. It's called Sphinx Princess and the second one is Sphinx Queen and so instead of Greek mythology, it's Egyptian mythology. I love mythology and this is a fantasy, kind of historical fantasy-ish, but I just love these covers. They're so pretty. The next one is not a fantasy. But um, I got it anyway because I've been wanting it for a long time. And it's Monument 14 by 
Emmy Laybourne. And this is a, from what I can tell, it's, and it's about these group of kids who get stuck in a supermarket. And um, the world is ending, and it sounds really, really good. And this is the first book in the series. I think it's either a trilogy or a duology. The next two books are books in a series, and that's Ascendant and um, Rampant. I believe this is the first one by Diana um, Peter Rood? Rund? I don't know, but these two books are about a girl named Astrid who is a unicorn hunter. And in these books, unicorns are evil. And I don't know if they stay that way, but I'm kind of hoping that they do because that's a really unique twist because no one ever thinks of unicorns as evil. So that's like a super unique twist on unicorns. This book is um, the second book in the books of Pelinor and that's The Riddle. Can I just say how much I love these covers? Like, they're so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to reread these books. They're so good. Like, if you like fantasy, read these because they're just amazing. Oh, I didn't even tell you what they're about. Essentially, it's about this girl who starts off as a slave and, um, and there's magic involved and she essentially has to save the world. Typical, you know, high fantasy. It's really good. Oh my gosh, it's like way skinnier. Okay, the next one is Mind Games by Kirsten White. And it's super skinny. I thought it was going to be like 400 pages. Less than 300 pages. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well, the cover's beautiful. I'm sure I'll like it. I'm not even really sure what it is about, but it says they stole her past. They won't let her let them take her future. Super excited about this one. And the last one. Okay, so you guys are gonna think I'm jumping on the bad bandwagon, but I swear I'm not. It's The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. Now I've been wanting to read Brandon Sanderson for Ever, because I've been listening to writing excuses for about a year and a half now and um, Brandon Sanderson and um, oh geez what are the authors there are like three or four like amazing authors on there Howard is one of them and Brandon Sanderson and oh geez anyway um, I've been listening to their podcast for a while I read Brandon Sanderson for a super super long time and I decided to start with this one simply because it was on book outlet I'm super excited about these and they have like little maps and um, drawings and illustrations see look at the illustrations they're so cool I'm super excited about this book well I hope you guys enjoyed my beautiful unboxing I'm super excited um, I think that was 10 11 12 13 14 15 that was 15 books to be exact and if you liked my video please like or subscribe down below and I'm sure I'll see you guys real soon all right bye